I'm reading an article about the effects of smoking and vaping on the risk of getting COVID-19. And apparently, um, smoking reduced your risk of COVID-19 while vaping increased it. And um, I, I remember reading about this many months ago, and, there's, and apparently people were still propagating the news, which makes no sense at all. And even if it did make sense, uh, COVID-19 has a mortality rate. Even if you're in a high-risk group, the, the highest group was only 10-15% at most. Right? For most people, it's 2-3%. to 3%. Smoking kills one out of three people. I'll let you choose which one you like, but I, I, I don't think it's an either or either. See, a few months ago, um, I spent a couple weeks in uh, Lake Tahoe where they were already in phase four of reopening. Here in Missoula, we're in phase three. It didn't take me long to realize why smokers had a lower risk of getting COVID-19. I was at an outdoor concert the place was was um, jumping, and uh, nobody was smoking uh, at the concert. But a couple blocks down, you had two or three smokers just huddled in their own corner smoking. And um, here in the United States, smoking almost guarantees people will social distance from you, right? Vaping might not have that kind of a problem, and then you'll just have the risk of taking in vaping, right? Oh, but it's so obvious. It took me five minutes to figure that out. And they're coming up with these ridiculous stories about how having hot smoke in your lungs might kill the COVID virus. Or maybe it's nicotine and they're trying to come up with a vaccine for COVID-19 made of nicotine. And all these ridiculous stories when all you have to do is go outside for five minutes. And then you come to realize COVID-19 originated in a country where 60% of people smoke. It, and um, where... Smoking there actually gives you social connections, right? Not here in the United States, right? Um, how about we use some common sense, right? That's probably why the U.S. is having such a hard time with COVID-19. People don't want to put on some common sense and deal with things, right? Uh, they, 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 they hear all these dramatic stories. It, it's, a, it, it, it's a shocker when smoking has any sort of benefits, right? So it's very exciting news. Smokers love to hear stories about how smoking is good for them, right? The tobacco industry loves it. Everybody else loves it because it's something novel, right? Uh, but I think common sense has to prevail. Thanks for watching.